This is the artifact guy and this is a Dallin film plate developing tank from the late 1800s. Basically this produced the image after you put glass plates inside and there's a rack in there I'll show you in a second. You can see it's airtight, it's light tight and you can put the chemicals in the top and drain them out the bottom. So basically you get a glass plate about this big, not very big at all, the size of this that fits in the back of your wooden camera in a carriage, a wooden carriage. You take the carriage out in the dark, you have to put it in here in the dark as well, making sure of course you don't touch the, the plate and damage it. And when you use the chemicals, when you go through the process, the set process for a certain amount of seconds for each chemical, it does eventually give you the image. Now there were many developments in photography at the in the 1830s onwards, 1829 was the first ever photograph by Nisa von Yeps in France. Um, but other people such as Louis Daguerre, nine years later, took the first photograph of a human, came up with something called daguerreotypes, and also William Henry Fox Talbot in between that in 1835, who came up with the colour type in Britain. So many developments, but they basically all were variations on a theme, a very, very similar process, which involved using chemicals to raise the image from and exposed plates. So basically you put the plates in here. This is a carriage that takes uh, six plates normally. We've also got this that's fell out. There's two of these, one that goes on, each, on either side that's fell out. So it would have took six plates even though there's only five gaps there. And I suspect looking at this metal and on the inside of, of this, it's very dusty and very dirty, that this is a base metal and it's coated in tin. It's certainly not silver because there's no hall marks on it. But it is very silver like so these clips fit on they fit very very tight you have to make sure you get them right they're quite tricky to get on so you, after many many years they are quite tricky like i say there we go it's a bit loose that one i don't think that wouldn't work nowadays but basically yes what you do is you put the developer through here and um, you leave it for a set amount of seconds that reveals the image and then you you wash that off and then you put fixer in and then you uh, wash that off and all the chemicals are drained out of the bottom here. So the whole thing is self-contained and this method is still used for home developing by hobbies today, albeit with plastic tanks. So there we go. Um, it's also got some maker's marks on. It's got made in Great Britain here and it's also got Dallin on the bottom there. And I've been the artifact guy.